I I want to back up a second because I want to cover a few things you said to make sure that it lands with the audience. The luteal phase of the of the cycle, you're absolutely right. That is when you start going for the foods and it's usually carbohydrates that we want. And so yep. and it, there's a lot to the hormones, there's a lot to your serotonin, there's a lot going on there. So that is a really valuable tool, but going back to your study, the clinical study, so the rebound meal was a calorie controlled meal, is that what you said? Yeah. So and we then, could measure and then prior, you said 18% reduction in other in other studies, but that was an ad libitum study, meaning they were able to eat as much as they wanted, right? That was an unlimited amount of food, and they still had an 18% reduction. So that's big. And that was an hour. So that was an hour, an hour after they'd taken Calicoop. So I'm really firing everything. The, 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 the appetite, the hunger and craving one was four hours. So what that showed us that it lasts for four to six hours. And what it does is it's a very potent, it's, it's natural. It's hundred percent natural. That's why everyone goes, really? Um, but it does, and it goes down through the intestinal tract. And because it's only focused on the intestinal tract, as it moves down, it, first of all, it, it, it triggers the release of CCK. Now CCK cholecystokinin is a, a very potent appetite suppressing, but very short lived and in your upper gut, right? Mm -hmm. So it fires off that, and then it moves down and it fires off GLP-1, and that's the one we all know. And then further, right down further, it does PYY. So as this amarasate, we call it, but as an extract of hops, move down the gastrointestinal tract, it's firing these little L cells or these, uh, these bitter uh, taste receptors as it goes down. So I always kind of think of it like this little bolus going down. And the other great thing about it is 99% of it is focused on the gut. Less than 1% is um, absorbed into your bloodstream. So oh. it doesn't, yeah, so it doesn't affect. So what we are doing is we are triggering your natural hormones. We're not doing anything in your blood. So we don't affect the liver or the kidney. So, you know, they, that's really important because people take other drugs and most drugs are metabolized through the liver, some through the kidney. So we don't affect that at all. We literally focus on the gastrointestinal tract. But the GLP-1 that it stimulates your L cells to produce and the other appetite hormones, those do go out into circulation. And that's the good part. This is the part that I yeah. want to be clear about is because yeah. that GLP-1 is now going out throughout your body and doing what GLP-1 does throughout the body, which is all the things I talk about. And that's and important. 600%, which is twice the postprandial or price what you would produce in a meal. So I, I kind of describe it as we're super stimulating them. We're kind of exercising the little L cells and we're super stimulating. So we don't put anything in your blood. We are super stimulating your natural release. So when you're on an injectable, you inject yourself with a synthetic hormone. Now, nothing wrong with that, but you are injecting yourself with a synthetic hormone. Whenever you inject yourself with a synthetic hormone, you depress your natural hormones. 